Hey Sonny here. Today I want to show you another Judas Priest song. It's another great classic from the album Defenders the Faith and it's called Rock Hard Rye Free. And uh, it's classic because it has a creative intro uh, like all classic Judas Priest songs. It has an like, intro riff and a main riff which is different than the intro and they got pre-chorus and chorus all different riffs and then it's it changed again right before the solo that's not a completely different uh, riff introduced into the song uh, so it's a great one to learn and uh, we're gonna cover all the intro and all the rhythm parts um, of this song at least and I may try to cover the solo later but we want to focus on the uh, uh, the intro because the intro itself is great if you have learning if you have been learning Judas Priest songs uh, from my videos, and uh, I think you will get a sense how great KK Dining and Glenn Tipton are together. Uh, they they just created so many great riffs and so many great intros together. And here is another one. Uh, so let's dig in right away. Okay, here's the uh, harmony part on the intro solo. I'm gonna dub over myself over this. One, two, three, four. So let's break down the uh, intro to uh, Rock Hard Ride Free. First of all, the song is in the key of A minor. Uh, so it's all natural note because A minor is a natural minor of C major. So it's all natural note. And the main chords we're going to play on uh, is going to be uh, A, power chord, F, 
first first uh, first fret on the uh, low E string and G and then there's an E chord somewhere alright so those are the main chords of the song okay the first thing we play is uh, as like an A power chord at a higher position so you got an E12 and B10 so you play those two notes together this is basically A power chord, just in a higher position. And the second one we do at the uh, move up the string. You got a B thirteen, and then G ten. That's a F power chord. See, or it's an F power chord in an octave higher position. So the beginning of the intro sound goes like this. You alternate between the 12th fret on the E string and the 10th fret on the B string and then you switch to 10th fret on the E string and 10th fret on the B string. So you basically pedal tone always back down to 10th fret on the B string. So again. Then you move down and you do the F power chord, 13th fret on the B and 10 on the G. And then 12th fret on the B and 10th on the G. I would just put my index finger over the 10th fret over those three strings and that way you don't have to move it so the second time it plays a little different the last three notes I go after I play the B12 you play 10 on the G with your index finger, play 9 on the G and you play a 10 on the D you do that 3 times, the whole pattern one time, second time two times, three times, the third time After you play a third time on the, and you, go, and you play a solo, it goes like this. So what I'm doing is I play the 10th fret on the B string. You bend up whole step to 22nd fret. Basically, you bend from to this note, whole step up. After you bend it up, you release down. You pull off on 18th fret, slide down to 17th fret, and hammer back on 18th fret. So like this. And then 17 on the E and 9 and then 20 on the B. Next part. So what I'm doing is I play I kind of I slide from 17 fret slide up to 12 20th fret on the B string and quickly play the 22nd fret on the E string. And then again back to 20 fret on the B and then 20 fret on the E string. So go, and then you move down a little bit. You play uh, 16th fret on the G, 15th fret on the G, and 17 on the D. So, so far we have this. Next part. What I'm doing is I play the all palm mute until the very last note. You do harmonic. So you do a little slower. You go uh, A12 and 9 and 10 on the D string. And then you and then you uh, speed up a little bit. You go uh, 12 on the D, 9, 10, 12 on the G string, and then 10 and 13 on the B string. When you hit the 13th fret, make sure you kind of get a pinch harmonic. So again, slowly. One more time. And the 
next next phrase goes like this. So what I'm doing is I play the uh, I pick on the fifth fifth fret on the E string and seventh string. Hammer on, pull off on eighteen on eighth fret and seven to pull off on the fifth fret. And then play the eighth fret on the B string, pull off on the fifth fret. And play the seventh fret again on the E string. Hammer on the eighth fret, pull off seven, pull off on fifth. And then play the uh, eighth fret again on the B, pull off on fifth fret. And the seventh fret on the uh, G string, pull off on fifth fret. The whole thing goes like this. After you hit, and uh, let me start over. Uh, show you what we have so far slowly. Next part. So what I'm doing is I play a uh, fifth and fourth fret on the G string, and then on the seventh fret on the D, and then th three times on the D string on the seventh fret, and then four and five on the G, and it's on the fifth fret again on the G. So far we have this on that part. After that, you play three times on the fifth fret on the G, four on the G, seven and five on the D, and then you play the fifth fret on the D string three times, seven on the D, four on the G, and the next part you go continuously. You play six on the uh, uh, on the D string, and you do like a. E power chord is seventh position. You go seven on the A, and a nine on the D, nine on the G, and nine on the B. So it goes like this. Again. And you play the seventh fret on the E string. Play the eighth fret on the E, pull off on seven, and then uh, and uh, ten fret on the B string. So far, we have this, just that one, the, the harmony melodic solo. Next part, 10 fret on the B string three times, 7 on the E string, and then 8th fret on the E string, pull off 7th fret, back to 8th fret, pick it. So. The next part, you go 8th fret on the B, E string three times. 7 on the E, 10 on the B string, and 8th on the B string. And then you gotta go up to 17th fret on the uh, D string three times, and then 6th on the G, B17. So I'm sorry, so we go D17 three times, and then 16 on the G, 17 on the B. It ends on the 16 on the B string, on E string. And then you go up using your, your um, middle finger, you play 17 fret on the E string, B string, and G string. And then 16 fret on the G. So far with this. 
and then 17 on the G, 16 on the G, and 19 on the D string, and 18 on the D string. So that one leg we have so far goes like this. And quickly play a 14 fret on the G string, pull off on the 12 fret, and 14 on the D. And you go 15 fret and 14 fret on the A string, twice, and then 12 and 11 back to 12 on the A string. So that's the whole solo. Let me play the melodic solo part slowly, softening. That's the whole solo. Okay, now I'm going to show you the harmony part over the melodic part of the intro solo. So basically, I'll show you how to harmonize over this part here. Okay, the harmony part will start on the fifth fret on the G string. We play fifth fret and seventh fret on the G, and back to fifth fret on the G. And then three times on a G, seven on a G, fifth fret on a B twice. After that, you play fifth fret on the B string twice, and seven and five on a G string, and four fret on a G. So far with this. Next part, you pull 4th fret on the G string 3 times, and then 5 and 7 on the G, and then 4, and then G4, D6, 4, 5, 7 on the G, 5th fret on the B string using my index finger, and then 5th fret on the G, 4th fret on the G, back to 5th fret on the G. Oh, that one leg goes like this. So far together, so far we have this. Next part. 5th fret on the G 3 times and 7 on the G and 5th on the B. And it's on the B again. And then 3 times on the 5th fret on the B string. 7 and 5 on the G. Back to 4th fret on the G. And then last leg, you gotta move up to 9th fret on the uh, D string. 3 times. G7. B, B9. 7 on the B. And then you just move up and go 12 on a B and 15 on a, I'm sorry, 12 on a E, 15 on a B twice. All right, so uh, so far on that fat on that last one goes like this so far. And we play E12, B15, 13, and 12. And then E12 again, and then B12, 13, and 15. And then 13 and 12 on a B again. And then 14, 13, 14 on a G. So the last lick slowly goes like this. One more time. And 
and that covers all the uh, the solo part in the intro. So let's start, let's talk about the uh, the chords behind it. So the chord behind the first part, the intro. Obviously, that's A, so you play over the A chord. And the next part, that's over F chord. You just keep repeating it over A to F, A to F. Oh, so when a solo actually starts in the intro, so the part, you start from the A, power, A chord, two measure, I'm sorry, one, one measure. Quickly go to F, one measure, to G. Now this time go to E power chord. And when you do the E, actually goes like this. So again, I'm so far, uh, the rhythm goes like this. A, F, A, G. You walk down, you play the E power chord. At the seventh position. And then uh, D power chord. A fifth position, and then you do a single note three two and O on the open A string, and A chord. You, you do the same thing again. So once you end on the A chord, you go to F chord, G, E. Now when you cut to the E chord, that's when you do the. Uh, So you basically play the E chord over that entire run until the last note. Uh, we play the uh, 12th fret on the uh, A string. That's when you play the A chord. It matches that A note together. That's when you go through the rhythm. We'll cover that in the next video. So, uh, uh, so that's the entire intro, including the chords behind the solo intro and the harmony. Thanks for watching.